So, Sol Plaiki, uh, the municipality in charge of Kimberley, and remember earlier this month there were already violent protests in that city after the municipality introduced an upfront electric, uh, electricity payment of 260 rand, which really put pressure on the top officials and was a part and parcel of this effort to push out the mayor. Let's find out more to discuss. We're joined by the SABC's Reginald Witboy in the Northern Cape. Reginald, so is the mayor in intending to go to work tomorrow and then maybe we have two mayors. Well, good evening to you, Francis. Well, indeed, the ousted Mayor Mangaliso Matika, he came to work this morning and it seems as if he is not going to vacate his position as yet. Because remember yesterday, um, the DA... Uh, um, the DA brought a motion of no confidence against the mayor, whereby also ANC members voted with the DA and uh, the ousted mayor's um, office indicated this morning when they held a press briefing that um, that council meeting is null and void. But the legality of that council meeting that happened yesterday that ousted the mayor um, is, is, is still unclear. But what the ousted mayor's office said this morning is that they are going to the courts to declare that council meeting null and void. So the, the ANC is going to go to the courts uh, to declare that null and void. The DA is saying it's going to go to the courts if he doesn't vacate office because of that vote of no confidence. Has anybody gone to the courts yet? Do we know? Well, at this stage, it is still, it is really still unclear, Francis. Earlier on, also today, we spoke to the ANC's provincial um, secretary, Deshi Nlanga, and he is saying that um, the ousted mayor, Mangali Somatika, he is not going anywhere as yet. Earlier this week, the Department of Cooperative Governance, Human Settlements and Traditional Affairs, the office of MEC Bentley Fuss, they've indicated that they are going, to, that they are launching an investigation into the Salt Lake municipality and that will only determine whether um, um, Mang um, Matika will go or will stay. But the community members here in the Diamond City made it clear that they don't want Mangaliso Matika as they may. Uh, um, th they were supposed to march to the Salt Lake municipality yet again today, but that didn't happen because yesterday they've heard that uh, Matika he was booted out of, 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 of his seat and it was a jovial mood. But today um, his office said that he is not going anywhere and he is still in office. How pertinent has this electricity upfront payment been of 260 rand? The ANC provincial uh, body wasn't even happy with that. Is it still in place and, and still the source of all the woes? Well, we know that the community are saying that they are not going to pay that 200, that proposed 260 electricity um, tariff, um, Francis. And we also know that, that, that they are saying that if it means that they need to go to the streets again, then they will do so. But at this stage, they're saying that um, they are really not prepared to pay that 260 rand. They are accusing the municipality of um, um, flouting tender processes. We also know that the chief financial officer, Lydia Mashloko, and the municipal manager, Gulam Akawari, they've been put on precautionary um, suspension because of this. And one of those investigations that COXA um, invest, is investigating now is that of the, elec of the electricity. And just remind us, there were violent protests. So, so the, the specter of that is, is looming once more. Oh, yes, indeed. Earlier on or today, we spoke to uh, the community leader, to Melo uh, Masikare, and he said that it all depends now on the community members what they are going to do. Uh, remember, uh, um, they need to apply if they want to protest, then they need to apply 48 hours prior to that. And today is Thursday. He indicated that, um, that even if the community wants to 
taken take to the street once again that that, um, that will only happen um, only in next week but it all depends on the community he said all right thank you very much uh, reginald Woodboy reporting from kimberley in the northern cape and we'll follow the situation there the mayor asked it in a vote of no confidence but refusing to vacate his office